students in this lecture we will discuss about deployment of moisture stress inside the plant and how does it take place and what are the factors which are responsible for moisture deficit inside the plant there is a moisture deficiency in the soil whenever there is a deficiency in soil moisture then availability is poor definitely plants suffer from moisture deficiency but there are some condition that soil moisture is present but it is not available to plant or the availability rate is very slow so there are different type of moisture stress inside the plant so under normal condition these are the roots and this plant and water is present inside the soil and it is available to root and to root it is transported to shoot and a favorable water balance is maintained inside the plant so whenever there is optimum moisture then cells are fully turgid and soil uh, cells are swollen so there is no no moisture stress or there is optimum growth cells are fully turgidity is there so optimum growth more leaf deployment expansion and plant height but when moisture deficiency is there then cells become flaccid cells become flaccid like that so the, this leaves become flaccid short and height is reduced so for optimum growth for proper plant height proper leaf area deployment and shoot deployment this turgid cell should be present in the plant and this turgidity is due to the presence of water so this water presence is must for turgidity so that there is full growth of plant so this is the normal condition and this water is lost into the atmosphere by the process of transpiration and here this is the process of absorption so a continuum is maintained which is known as spec soil plant atmosphere continuum soil plant atmosphere continuum and this cycle is maintained under normal condition and this transpiration is affected by several Uh, climatic factors weather condition and particularly by temperature as the temperature increases then transpiration rate increases so these are positively correlated so in the morning and evening hour temperature is low as compared to noon hours so that's why transpiration rate is low in evening and morning but during midday or during noon the temperature is high about 1 o'clock 2 o'clock 3 o'clock 12 o'clock then this transpiration increases rapidly and the rate of transpiration is more than rate of absorption of water this take place during midday so what happens the plant roots are not available not absorbed in water as the same rate as the transpiration is taking place so definitely the supply is poor and this supply is not fulfilling the water requirement that is lost by transpiration so here inside the plant moisture availability is low so cells become start to flaccid turgidity is lost but it is due to high temperature which result into high transpiration it is not due to poor availability of uh, water water is present inside the soil here water availability is not problem soil is uh, moisture is present in soil but the rate of absorption is less than rate of transpiration so it means the moisture which is present in inside the plant is lost 
and the supply is not equal to the lost amount. So there is wilting, moisture stress developed inside the plant and this take place when high temperature is there, so during the midday. This situation occur at midday. So this is temporary wilting, it is not permanent, it is temporary wilting and it occur at midday, so that's why it is known as midday depression also. It is known as midday depression or midday uh, wilting or it is temporary wilting also known as incipient wilting. Incipient wilting. So the cause of this midday depression is the high rate of transpiration because of high temperature and during evening or morning hours plant become turgid because then rate of transpiration reduces and supply maintain the water lost amount. So this is very important and the um, soil moisture is present in adequate amount but not supply to the plant according to transpiration requirement. So this is very common particularly during noon hours and after noon. Another type of wilting is the plant is here, plant is growing normally and water uh, come into the soil either by irrigation or rainfall. So water is present, water is present in the soil, inside the soil and this water is lost by evaporation from soil surface as well as from transpiration by the plant which is combinedly known as evapotranspiration. So this evapotranspiration is combined loss of water from soil and plant. So this is common natural phenomena and when this water is lost, water uh, is going into the atmosphere then availability is reduces. Then soil particles hold the moisture, water is present in soil matrix, salts are present, salt also attract water molecule, soil particles also attract uh, water molecule. So then yeah, suppose it is a, a soil particle and water is present in such a way and then as the water reduces, water is lost, this film become thin and thin, thin and thin and come close to the soil surface or soil surface and soil surface tightly held water. So the water film, the thickness of this water film reduces, so that this outer is held by low force and this water is held by soil particle by high force or more force. So what, when water is present in plenty amount, force exerted by clay particle on water molecule is less, then ability is good. There is no problem, there is no restriction in water ability. But as water reduces, then the film around the soil particle become thin, thin, thin and thin and the force between the water molecule and clay particle, soil particle become tight. That is why water availability is reduced and then plant is started to wilt. This is the phenomena of moisture stress development. So the factor responsible is evapotranspiration, then the force between soil particle and clay particles which restrict the easy movement of water inside the soil and then water is not available to fulfill the plant requirement and then moisture stress develop inside the plant and wilting starts and this pressure, this force between the soil particle and water molecule if we measure into the bar then at minus 15 bar pressure or tension, this is the force we can say minus 15 bar, then the plant is wilt, completely wilt but not die. At this point, at minus 15 bar, 
the plant totally become wilt but there is no death at this point there is no death if there is supply of water either through irrigation or rainfall then plant can recover plants can recover if water is present but building is permanent there is no death so it is known as permanent building point and this occur at minus 15 bar so at permanent building the plants if are at permanent building then uh, they can recover if water uh, is supplied to the plant but as the moisture stress develop progressively and there is no supply of water then at minus minus 16 bar minus 16 bar plants are totally wilt and die and then cannot recover and this is known as ultimate wilting so this is the difference between permanent wilting and ultimate wilting at permanent wilting plant can recover but here death of plant so this is the stress moisture stress development in plant which is decided by transpiration rate evaporation from soil and the force between soil particle and water uh, molecule if temperature is high evapotranspiration rate will be high if force between the uh, soil particle and water is high then release of water will be less and availability will be poor and moisture stress inside the plant will develop early so these are the different type of uh, wilting incipient wilting permanent wilting and ultimate wilting another situation is that the water is present these are roots water is present and in this water some salts are uh, present like that so water is saline saline water is present in soil due to presence of salt and salt also have attraction for water and they tightly held the water molecules so almost all the iron and salt have attraction towards water and then water movement is restricted or reduced so free water is less then water availability to a root is less the water is present there is plenty water adequate amount of water but because of presence of salts water movement salt attract with the water by a force and water is not released easily and in uh, terms it is known as osmotic potential it is referred as osmotic potential if the force between the salt and water is more then osmotic potential said to be high high means negative high means negative if water potential is more negative it means availability of uh, free water will be very less so water is present in the root zone but because of salts osmotic potential is more means more negative so free water is less and this plant suffer from moisture deficiency and it is known as physiological drought so this is another type of uh, wilting or we can say physiological uh, drought inside the plant and the major factor responsible is sal uh, saline water or salts so there are different type uh, we, we discussed that uh, first uh, uh, one we discussed that uh, incipient wilting or midday depression and it is because of if it rate of transpiration is more than rate of absorption of water and this situation occurred during midday or noon hours second one was a temporary built or uh, permanent wilting this is temporary wilting because plant recover in morning and evening hour and it is a permanent wilting and this permanent wilting 
बिकॉज ऑफ सॉइल मॉइस्चर टेंशन लो सॉइल मॉइस्चर टेंशन दैट इज माइनस फिफ्टीन बार दिस इज मिड डे डिप्रेशन इज टेम्पररी विल्टिंग थर्ड वन इज अल्टीमेट विल्टिंग and we discussed that this ultimate wilting death of plant it is also due to soil moisture tension at minus 60 bar then fourth one we discuss is physiological drought and this is due to saline soil water saline soil water high salinity is there so soils which are uh, have more salt content more salinity the moisture deficiency in plant is common because of high osmotic potential so in this lecture we discuss about different type of moisture stress in plant now it is clear that how moisture deficiency or moisture deficit inside the plant take place uh, there may be several factors rate of transpiration or salinity or high Uh, soil moisture tension so these are three important factors which are responsible for moisture deficiency inside the plant thank you very much